Thank you for this day. Thank you for just allowing me and Abby to just have this uh, time of uh, fellowship with our friends, Lord, and uh, just uh, an image of you, your son's uh, marriage to the church, Lord. And Lord, I just ask that uh, you're with us through this marriage, Lord, that you just uh, are our centerpiece and our rock, Lord, and that we uh, never take our eyes off you, Lord, because if we take our eyes off you, we'll go, one will grow farther away. Jason and Abigail, I want you to remember the great responsibilities that we've talked about. Of love and submission, these are serious, and yet they are magnificent. Our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, was a perfect example of both of these. Jesus Christ loved His church so much that he said, greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his friends. Jason, that's how you're to love Abigail. Again, Jesus showed that greatest love by sacrificing himself and sacrificing his own life. And he shed his precious blood for the church to demonstrate just how deep his love and to leave us the greatest example of love that has ever been seen. Jason, follow the example of the Lord Jesus Christ. Consider Abigail your very closest friend and love her even to the sacrifice of your own wants, your own desires, and your very life. And Abigail, Christ gave us the perfect example of submission. Submission is not weakness. In fact, Jesus, again, is the most blessed example there is. For he says in Philippians chapter two and verse five, he said, let this mind be in you. That is, let this attitude be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, and being found in the fashion of man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Abigail, the Lord Jesus Christ, the creator and the sustainer of the universe, out of love, and reverence and respect for his father humbled himself and became submissive for our son. I want you to repeat after me. I, Jason Aaron Rice. I, Jason Aaron Rice. Take you, Abigail Lachey Mullins. Take you, Ab Abigail Lachey Mullins. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Abigail, will you repeat after me? I, Abigail Lachey Mullins. I, Abigail Lachey Mullins. Take you, Jason Aaron Rice. Take you, Jason Aaron Rice. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have in the hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12, it says, Two are better than one, because they have good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who, ha who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? So in the braiding of these friends together, Abigail and Jason have chosen to allow God 
to be at the center of their marriage, woven into every aspect of that marriage. Now that Jason and Abigail have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, and with the joining of hands and the receiving and giving of the rings in the presence of this company, by the authority of the state of Arkansas, enforced by God himself, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. Those, those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Jason, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jason Rice. Till